Zim said that he told you guys this was the best offensive performance he's seen from the Vikings in eight years being here. To know that you were part of the catalyst of that happening, what's that mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. Uh, we go out there and we prepare every every day uh, to be the best offense that we can be. So for us to go out there and prove it today, um, it was a huge win for us uh, individually um, as a group uh, with that O-line, the tight ends and receivers all together. Uh, Kurt did an amazing job today. Um, so the offense, it clicked the way it did. It's, it's awesome for us to see that. And then we can build on the little details that we missed, but also celebrate the, the progress that we've made. When did you find out that Dalvin Cook wouldn't be able to play, and then what was your mindset coming in after you learned that? Um, just between me and him, I found out a little sooner than probably everybody else. But um, it was, you know, I, I prepare every every week the same way. I have a routine. KP is big on us having our routine, so uh, going about it uh, that way, having a routine, but just having to take care of my body a little different, uh, knowing that you know I'm taking all the reps in practice, and then also uh, going to have to be uh, you know up the first snap of the game. But yeah, just. Uh, Taking it and, and attacking it the same way I would attack any other game, just got to understand, you know, obviously I'm taking uh, the first rep instead of uh, just being ready to go in. How does 32 touches feel on your body? Uh, feels, uh, feels a little tough right now, but, you know, it's one of those things I love about the game. You know, I feel every single, rep, every single one of those reps, but uh, they all paid off and we were able to come out with the victory, so that's all that matters. Just how do you feel? I mean, you tied your career high with 112 yards rushing. I mean, how do you feel about that? Uh, it feels good. It feels good when you're able to uh, get the ball and, and be productive. So uh, this offense, we're, we love to be productive uh, as backs in this offense. So um, it feels amazing. Wouldn't be able to do it without those guys up front, though. Now, what's the difference on third down? You guys not only did it so much better, but you also had this kind of this killer instinct that you just kind of went for it again and again. Yeah, just uh, honing in on the details, understanding that we had to be better. Um, on third downs, and we went out there and got the job done. Uh, huge credit to all the guys that uh, were in there on those third downs, making big plays, making big catches, big throws, and, and making big blocks up front for us to convert on those. Can you talk about the swing? It's 17-7 Seattle. They get a sack. It looks like you're punting to them. They're going to get good field position. Then you have the defensive hold, and then one play later you get the screen. You guys are off and running. That was a huge play, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know, we uh, knew that we could probably take advantage of them um, in the screen game and uh, just real glad that we were able to actually come out and execute that part of our plan. Uh, just knowing how those guys play, it, it was something that we were able to target a little bit and uh, the O-line did a great job. Kurt uh, put it on the money and then just having open grass to just kind of go out there and try and make some plays uh, feels great. What is it about a defense that makes them vulnerable to screens? Is it like blitzing a lot, off corners, what is it? Uh, yeah, just a little combination of everything. Just understanding how the linebackers play, how the D-line plays, and then trying to tack up field a little bit. So uh, get that separation, get that space between the D-line and the linebackers, and then uh, from there, kind of just play ball. Did Dalvin say anything to you specifically before the game or give you any advice, you know, when he knew he couldn't play? Yeah, just uh, letting me know, you know, he, he, he didn't really apply any pressure to me or anything like that. Uh, he knew I didn't need a, a pep talk or anything. I, I was ready for the opportunity, and he just told me, go run with it. And, uh, you know, he's with me every step of the way, come to the sideline, get some advice for him uh, if he saw something. Um, and most of the time, though, he was just telling me, you know, that, you know, I was doing exactly what he would do. So uh, that just made me proud to kind of be uh, that little brother in the sense where I'm just there and, and trying to learn from him and, uh, you know, prepare me for this moment. You know, just being behind him the past couple of years is just – uh, it's been a, a huge blessing for me in my game. So for us to go out there as an offense and just uh, his his energy, his presence uh, was felt today, even though he wasn't out there. Do you feel like you guys have a little bit of the weight off your back, not being winless at this point? Um, we take you know we take this victory, and it's it's a big victory for us. Um, uh, we go out there every week to win, so uh, it feels amazing. But uh, you know we just understand that it's it's still bigger than just one week. Uh, we got to take it one week at a time, but there's there's also big season ahead of us, so we don't really, uh, we're not taking the, the, the foot off the pedal. You've been on a start before, this is certainly not your first start, but this is probably one that's been the most productive for you. What, what was different of this start than other ones in the past? Is it a maturity thing, you kind of growing up in the league, or was it just different altogether? Uh, yeah, I'd probably say a little bit of that, and uh, just uh, kind of just a, a great game plan. Um, Coach, Coach Clint, he did a great job calling this game um, in the run game. KP and, and Phil did a great job. Um, and then just all the players executing all cylinders. So uh, yeah, just, you know, we go in every week trying to 
prepare to, to execute, and we did that today, and that, that was able to uh, be productive in my role as well. Zimmer keeps talking about um, Kirk Cousins and his leadership and how different it is this year. For you guys and for you specifically, what do you see as the difference? Um, he has a little more swag to him this year, actually. Uh, I think uh, being around Jets in the locker room, uh, his locker kind of has switched around a little bit. Uh, he, he has a little more swag to him, but uh, he definitely is just, you know, he's one of those playmakers. He's always has been that way, and uh, he's just stepped up even even more, um, just honing in on his craft and making everyone better around him. And, uh, yeah, huge credit to, to Kirk and the way that he played today and the way that he led us today. Alex, just on a personal level, does this win kind of feel a little serendipitous considering what happened last year against Seattle? fourth and one and then this year you're obviously on the winning side of it a big part of it yeah we definitely owed him that one and uh you know it's kind of something throughout the game uh me and bo and and the o-line up front we just kind of understood uh kind of had that little vengeance feel to it but it felt great to just go out there and execute um with, with that aside it just uh was an awesome game uh for them up front and an awesome game for the offense as a total and, and the defense played the butts off and uh everything special teams they did their job and uh you know that's the epitome of a team win right there hey alex emerson talked about kind of having a slow start on defense but then finding their rhythm um how great is it when you have a guy like him who, you know, he gets that sack of, of Russell Wilson, we know that's hard to do. How much energy does that bring to both sides, both sides of the ball for you guys? Oh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a lot of energy. I mean, uh, even just being in a stadium, you can feel that energy uh, and that momentum change. So uh, those plays like that, the defense made some, some great plays that gave us a lot of momentum on offense. And, uh, you know, offense made some plays, gave defense momentum. Uh, it's, it's amazing that we'd have guys like him, guys like Daniil, and, and, and our defense is just stacked with guys that can make plays, and uh, their energy rubs off on us. Your offense has very few turnovers this year, I think maybe one. Uh, you have to feel good about that. Yeah, yeah, it feels amazing to protect the ball. Um, that's something that we, we pride ourselves on. And uh, for us to be able to continue to do that um, week in and week out is something that uh, we, we don't take lightly. Can you give an example of Kirk uh, having swag? Is it, is it like his intensity? Is it making a big throw? Is it stuff he's um, Yeah, it's a combination of all of that. Yeah, uh, some of the stuff he says, uh, it's, it's pretty funny just coming from him. But uh, he's definitely... Um, He's definitely kind of uh, opened up a little bit, and it's awesome to see you know him, even just how he runs and scrambles. Um, it's a little different than than it was before, and um, he just you know just taking the reins, um, and he, he's he's an amazing leader. Thanks, Thank you, guys.